Hey guys, Richard Hayek here. All right, so I wanted to show you the four stages of training, okay, to teach you how to stay in key. And these also can be used just to learn a song, um, to learn all the details in a song and to gradually get better at that song instead of kind of getting a tiny bit better or kind of staying the same over time. You know, you want to get better and better over time. Uh, but this is the same training that works for anyone, but especially if you are out of key and you go off key, this is going to be essential for you. So step one, okay, tracing the artist. So you want to sing exactly with the artist. So I'm going to write, write these steps down for you as we go, okay, so you can see them here. All right, so one, trace artist. Okay, so what does this mean? I've got a song up here. It's an acapella version to make it easier so you can just hear the, only the lyrics. So let's say we're going... So tracing would be singing along with him. So let's try that again. So I'm going to say, I got something to say. That's tracing, okay? Singing directly along with the artist. Now... For every stage of this training, I'm going to teach you a very important step to getting better is not just tracing the artist at full speed, but actually slowing down. Okay. Slowing down has a major effect because it allows you to hear more details. So let's say we slow this down. Now, ideally, you wouldn't do this on YouTube because the slowdown quality is not that great. There's an app that uh, I use called Amazing Slowdowner. And if you go on my website, I give you a free tutorial about how to use it, okay? Uh, just here, it's about to load. Make it slow. There we go. It's a free tutorial how to use it. So I highly recommend you get that. It's only 10 minutes long total. Highly recommend you check that out. And it's, a, it's the ultimate tool for slowing down music much better than... YouTube, but YouTube is great if you want to just start off with, but it's great because you can loop in amazing slow down. But anyway, here's how you go. So let's slow it down. Well, we get to the beginning. Oh, I put my volume down. <laughs> so sorry. Got some in the sick. Got some in the sick. Hey, there's a lot happening. I got some in the sick. Got some in the sick. So much details there, right? People wonder why they can't sing good there's a lot of details that you're not hearing. So all those notes have to be done accurately. Let's listen to him. A lot of notes there. That was seven and 11. So a total of 18 notes. All right, so the first step is you trace the artist sing with the artist's voice and get it really accurately. I already showed you that. And the next step is you, you, trace, you trace the artist, but um, how do you say? You, oh, I've written it wrong here, let me see. Trace a cappella, okay? So let's say, um, the, the first step we sang with the artist on top of the artist's voice okay so oh, sorry what I'm going to say is next we do it without the artist okay so we just try it alone but what, what I said trace a cappella is that we do it with assistance so what we're doing is um, a cappella with assistance of tracing so for example we go with him, so let's just go a little bit faster this time, uh, just for example purposes. 
Got something to say, got something to say. And then you go by yourself. I got something to say, got something to say. And then any problems that you get there, that's where you work with your teacher to help you to tell you, okay, these one, these notes were wrong. Let's fix them. If you can hear it for yourself, great. If you're not sure, then you listen back to him again. And this is what I mean. You do it with assistance of the artist. Got something to say, got something to say. By yourself. I got something to say, got something to say. Always slow down on the notes you're not sure. So there's one note where I'm not sure. I got some in, I got some in, some in, I got some in, some in, say, I got some in, say, got some in, say. All right. So that's tracing. You go back and forth and using the assistance. Now, the next third step is you go a cappella. So now we're going without assistance. Okay. Just call that artist, tracing artist. So a cappella without assistance now, completely by yourself. I got something to say, got something to say. I got something to say, got something to say. I got something to say, got something to say. Cool, I got it. But when you're learning, you know, this will be hard. So you need the teacher to help you and you can figure it out. Oh, you know, do I still need assistance? So each of these steps, you know, you could be spending like a whole training session just on one step right it's not like you do you do it once and then you move on like i'm showing you in this video this video is just an example in an actual lesson you might spend 20 minutes doing a verse of tracing you know and then the next time you might spend five minutes doing tracing because you've already spent a lot of time the first time and then you might spend 15 minutes doing with assistance of a cappella you know, and then the next time you might spend five minutes doing this and then you'll spend, um, you spend like uh, 15, 20 minutes just doing a cappella without assistance and fixing yourself up because you've already done the training for the previous, in the previous steps. You know what I mean? So it's sort of like stepwise, you gradually improve and then you move on. Sometimes this happens really quick, all in one session. It depends on your current level and it depends how hard the song is. But it doesn't really matter how quick you go, how quick or slow, as long as you're learning and you're going slow. Okay, trace artist at 25%. Okay, then go faster when you get it. All right, and then you go one phrase only. So one phrase only, like at a time. All right, then the very last step is, the uh, last step you can do is doing it in all keys, okay? Now, you can't do this here. You're going to have to use the app. But what that means is you put the song on the app and then you change keys, okay? So you train it in every key. Uh, let's, let's see what that looks like. <clears throat> what does this do? This in increases your understanding of where notes lie in relation to each other and in relation to where they are fit in your voice within your overall range it helps you hear better okay hear where notes are better let's see i'll find it fill me in let's get on my phone hold it to it okay All right, there it is. So let's say we change the key. So we'll drop the key down. So let's say I drop it down six keys and then I work up. So got okay, and then try by yourself. Then you can do the same process: tracing a cappella without assistance, with assistance, and without assistance. I got something to say. Got something to say. Then you can work up. Got something to say. Got something to say. By yourself. I got something to say. Got something to say. With him, next key. Got something to say, got something to say. I got something to say, got something to say. 
and then go up, minus one. Hey, got something to say. Original. Got something to say, got something to say. All right, so all of this training to help you stay in key and help you learn a phrase perfectly. That's how much it takes. It's a lot of work. It's not some special trick. It's a lot of e-training. When you, We only did one phrase. This lesson was only for one phrase that doesn't even go for three seconds. How quick does it go? Three seconds. It's a three second phrase. And you might spend 20 minutes working on it. Okay, this is how you get better by breaking things down into tiny pieces, getting all the details accurate, and then moving on to the next part. The more details you get accurate from an entire, you might spend a couple hours over a couple of weeks or months working on a song, or even years for very difficult songs. But this process allows you to get every note 100% right, so that you execute it accurately, so you can hear better and you, ex and you sing more accurately the more you practice this way. Instead of just singing full speed all the time in the same key and you never improve your sense of key and you're never able to sing alone, which is what you wanna do. You wanna sing alone really, ac really accurately. Oh, chicken is gone next door and her parents went now. Chief won't say, hey boy, come on right around. So I knock at the door, you stand with a bottle of red wine ready to pour. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 fill me in. You want to be able to just completely make up music from in here in your mind, not just copying the song, singing with the song, all right? That's the highest level that you can reach. That's the highest level you want to reach as a singer. And to achieve that, this is the steps you got to go through. Put in the work, one phrase at a time, gradually, and then you can start to combine them, okay? This is one way to improve your sense of key, to help those that are tone deaf, and to make your voice sound beautiful over a few months to years of training, okay? You can do it. Anyone can do it. You just got to put in the work. rnbsinginglessons.com for, for lessons, guys, because most people really do need help. They cannot figure it all out just by listening to it slow and they can't figure out what they're doing wrong when they do it a cappella. So these are the stages that you probably need a teacher to tell you, oh, this is the note we got wrong, and then the teacher will point that note out, fix it up, help you fix it, and then you move on. And then gradually, with the teacher, you fix more and more and more and more, faster than you would on your own, and possibly you might never do it on your own because your ear might not be good enough to tell the difference of what's right and wrong. So I hope to see you guys soon in a lesson, and if I don't, Get practicing. You know how to practice now. You've got no excuses. Get to work. Bye.